Gary, when asked that, you know, you you made a good point earlier that that, that usually about eighty percent of the time when you get out rebounded by fourteen boards, it doesn't end well. You know, I mean that's that's just the <coughs> not to crack. I mean. Well, well, that, the, 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 but know. that that could happen a lot down this stretch because of uh, playing four guards. It you know it, it, you don't want it to, but that could happen. Uh, we got to we got to get it in other areas. We got to turn them over, which we had seventeen. Okay, and then we got to the thing I felt you know I I, I didn't think we did a great job of uh, stopping them inside the second half. But you got to understand we played almost seventy five percent of that second half without Aaron Polk. And they just went right at us, and uh, uh, we went tried to go zone there for about two or three minutes, and they still went at us because we were hoping that they would shoot it. But their coach, I, I give him a lot of credit. He kept telling them, "Go inside, go inside," and uh, and that caused some problems. But um, you know, these guys are scrappers, and uh, and that's what they do. You know, and uh, in the first half, I thought we let a few loose balls get away from us because that could have turned into some better situations. Because we stayed on a, a number for a long time, if you remember. We weren't, we weren't scoring at all. And, and, when you, when, and I call that like a kickball period. Nothing's going well for you, just kicking the ball all over the pit place. And that's what we were doing. But what normally gets you through those periods is you play good defense. And what makes you also score is that you uh, make your defense become your offense. And we didn't do it because we weren't getting a loose ball. We take it one at a time. Every game's a big win, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, did we feel that, that we could beat this team? We felt we could beat this team. And when we had that 13-point lead, we should have extended it because we, we're, we're playing different kind of basketball right now. And that kind of basketball, we should have we extended that lead, and for some reason we didn't. But we got into all that stupid foul trouble. I mean, we, we committed maybe 10 unnecessary fouls, and you can't do that. Oh, yeah, I, I, I felt the pressure was there. And the reason why I felt the pressure was there is because we didn't run our typical press. We went, we went, we had to do it in a man-to-man -man scheme, and we still created the turnovers, which I thought was good. Because see, sometimes you're going to play against bigger teams and just throw over the top of you. And if that happens, can you still create turnovers by getting in into a man-to-man? -man? And I thought we did that today. Is it encouraging to you that you won without Aaron making a substantial contribution? Oh yeah, that. that Discouraging because he, no, no, it, it is. It is that we could still. That's why I said, we, you know, we dodged a bullet there. We could, but the, on the other hand, we cannot go long periods of time without Aaron being a part of this team. You know, uh, prime example: the last game, Aaron had 16 rebounds. We get out rebounded by 14. Now, how many you get this game? Aaron got three rebounds in the short time he was out there. See, we need – that's the one thing he can consistently bring to this team is rebounding that basketball. And I also thought he was aggressive offensively today if we could just got him the ball more. I didn't focus on the losing streak because we could have played Sisters and Poor had a winning streak. You, know, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I could have changed that whole schedule and we could have had wins and everybody would have been happy, 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 and then we go and lose this game. So uh, what, what we had to do was learn from, from that experience. And I think this team said that was one season. And we, we talked about it as a, as a staff and as a team, that that's 09. Now we're in 010. Forget about whatever happened in 09. But learn from what happened in 09. What we have to do is teach him more and more to stay in the game. I mean, he's really causing us you know, a lot of pressure. Because let's take like a person like DeAndre. Now he's got to play 39 minutes. And I can't really get him out of the game because now I have no one rebounding in there. And so uh, this is something we got to constantly work on. we got to get better at. Uh, we can go to the drawing board and really work on this. I don't see – see, I think that the things that happened today were things that happened because of what we did. Not – I mean, I wasn't caught up what they were doing that really dominated us. Yeah, they scored inside, but they should score inside. They're bigger than us. But at the same time – I felt when we had the 13-point lead, we did some things to allow them to get back in it, and we should have never let that happen. Now, there was one, one major positive that I want to talk about, and that's uh, playing at the end of the game. I mean, we are now understanding what to do in the last minutes of a game. And, and that's when you really have to execute. Because we could, we could go into, say, another 10 games, they go down to the last five minutes. And then what, what are you going to do? The thing we got to do is make free throws. We got to take care of the basketball. 
and we got to defend. Those are the three things I'm more concerned about in the last five minutes of a game, that we, we take care of the basketball, we defend, and we make free throws. And we're starting to do that every game. And if we continue to do that, I think we'll get better at it.